break a chance. An opportunity is at your neighborhood, your address, your doorstep. Take a leap of faith. Let go of the fear. Let go of the anxiety, the fear of what if. What if I don't make it in this career? What if I don't make it in this business? What if I don't make it in my studies? But what if you do? What if you do? What if you make it? Hypothetically speaking, I have never heard anyone who partners with Jehovah and fails. He's our victor, he's our way maker. He's saying to you today, don't mind the conditions. I am making a way in the wilderness, rivers in the desert. I am doing a new thing, declares the Lord. Now it shall spring forth, receive it, embrace it, and protect it, nurture it, receive it, embrace it, nurture it, protect it. Now is your time. Now is your time to shine forth. Own it. Embrace it. Now is your time to break forth to the left and to the right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Young Professionals opening and launch. Welcome. This is me, your host, Yangisila Mbogo. I want everyone to feel welcome, so we're going to go straight to our opening and welcoming for this great event that is taking place today. So I'm going to ask our mother, who's in the midst of, uh, to just come and open for us in prayer. Mamustaja, uh, may you please just welcome her as she comes. She looks younger every time I see her. Thank you. 
orderly thing it belongs to men. But from the Lord comes the wise answer of the time. All the ways of men are pure in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the spirit, the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Roll your works upon the Lord, commit and trust them wholly to him. He will cause your thoughts to become agreeable to his will, and so shall your plans be established and succeed. Father, we honor you give you praise for your word this morning in the name of Jesus. May your word be established to each and every one that is here in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for speaking to us. Speak again. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence in the miracle name of Jesus. Amen. You are welcome. In the name of Jesus. But the Lord says, this verse says, the plans and the minds and the orderly things belong to us. The Lord has given us the spirit of order to think things in an order. So the order that you see in the morning is coming from the Lord, but it's for men. There's something that you must do to be able that the steps of the righteous be ordered by the Lord. He says this morning, uh, we are on Proverbs chapter 16. We have read the verse 1 to 3. He says, but from the Lord comes the wide answer of the tongue. Meaning there are answers that the, our tongues are supposed to have. So in order to have that tongue, you must have a connectivity. You must have the Holy Spirit that is going to guide you for that particular day. You cannot speak except the Holy Spirit has ordered you to speak. So what is it that is for us to do? It tells us each and every morning we must wake up to say, Lord, we seek your wise. We seek your wise order, directed prayers and speaking. So as you speak in each and every day, you may know that the Lord has ordered you to speak. Then you cannot speak and declare amiss. All the ways of men are pure in his own eyes. But it says, and the thoughts of the tents of their heart. But it says in verse 3 where we are. Roll your works upon the Lord. Today we have come to roll out before the Lord. Business people are here. Those who are interested to start uh, new businesses, those they, they are, their businesses are flourishing at the moment, but they need an elevation from one glory to another. The Lord is committing to say this morning, roll out your works before me. I am able to make sure that I will deal with everything that concerns me. He will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go in your own business. Be it a small business, be it a big business, but roll out your plan. Commit and trust only to him. When you commit to him, the business that you are going to be doing is upon God to prosper. And you have a good success in, the own, in your own business. A businessman you have got a thought in each and every day. But if you commit this to the Lord, you roll up before the Lord. He will cause your thoughts to become agreeable to his will. When you do business, keep it according to the will of God. When you do business, you will not leave God alone outside and say, I need to bring that. But you will say, Lord, help me. This is what I want to reach out. This is the area that I want to, these are the people that I want to make sure as I'm having my own business, that these people may gain out of this business. This is what the, this is the Lord, this is what Lord I present to you that I know business was Alana is for us to live and be established in every area that our children, our young one, and our homes and everything might benefit. But as a part of business, people would give in a business. That uh, give there's a foundation that always gives. I'm not going to mention that foundation this morning. But there's a foundation that gives. 
And that foundation keeps on growing, keeps on growing. It goes even overseas because there's a giving. So there's a roll-out plan that they have. They are giving to the Lord. And if your plan shall be established, when you roll out your plan and ask God before you do any plan, he will cause your plan. He says, I will cause your plans, and that's true, I will cause your plans to be established. And guess what? And you will succeed. Amen. You will succeed. Everyone, every businessman, every morning wakes up not just to do business, but to succeed. Success comes from the Lord. So in this morning we are inviting the presence of the Lord here to say, Lord, this is our first breakfast. Cause these plans to succeed. Cause what I have chosen to succeed. Cause my direction of business to succeed. Let me succeed in everything that I touch. Let me succeed in everything that I think. Let me succeed in wherever I put my business to say I this is a thing. Let that place succeed. And in the return, I will also succeed. So we are going to bow our heads this morning, all of us, and we are going to pray. To say, Lord, we have come to say this morning. This is our first best, uh, 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 business breakfast, but Lord, let it succeed beyond Shah. Let it succeed beyond what we can even see or even imagine. Lord, let this be success be for the generations to come. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, let our children's children be able to be established in the business that I'm going to do this morning. Yes. We are going to share ideas. Let the idea that I'm going to get from each and every one that I'm going to speak to this morning, be able to succeed. Mm -hmm. Let me not just get uh, the, 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 the sharing, but there is no success. Lord, establish the success of my sharing, even the success that I'm going to receive from somebody this morning. Mm -hmm. Let us pray. Mm -hmm. We honor you, Lord, mm -hmm. in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for we are bringing success before you, because you said the success is My Father, we thank you for success beyond measure. We shall be established beyond measure in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your presence and your glory in the success in the name of Jesus. We are established because we are established in the mighty name of Jesus as we bring our business before you, mighty God. Thank you for the establishing you, our God, in the name of Jesus. Cause everyone in here in the mighty name of Jesus to succeed beyond measure, to be established beyond measure. In the mighty name of Jesus, that there shall be no one of God that will be moved. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, that shall rise and touch and everything of God that will step late in our business this morning. In the name of Jesus, we are going before you, of God. Thank you for making sure that we are succeeding beyond measure. In the mighty name of Jesus, your word of God in our business will grow mightily and prevail. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you for the success in your business.
much, man. I know we ambushed you, but the Bible says we're ready in and out of season. So we thank God for using you so mightily this morning to share such a powerful word. Uh, it reminds me of Psalms 127 that says, A man who builds, um, unless the Lord builds the house, the man who builds, builds in vain. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. So it is important that we partner with the one who has created us, who says, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a future and an expected end. Hallelujah. So we are here this morning because we all have a great expectation of what the Lord is about to do in our lives, in our businesses, in our studies, in our careers. Because as much as we are here, some of us are not business people yet. We have not ventured into business. But some of us, they aspire. But I know that whatever we get here today, it will broaden us even in our careers, wherever we are. We will go, we'll go home with something that we have gotten. No one has met with Jehovah and remained the same. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I see the house is getting full. I'm starting to get warm, starting to get warm, starting to get warm. <laughs> I want to I want you to thank yourselves for coming and uh, you know uh, I want you to thank yourselves for coming and and for coming clap for yourselves for coming because your life will never be the same again. Uh, to our guests who have come in you are welcomed we have started a and we are moving forward. And we are moving forward. I know that now we have heard the word. We have been welcome. We have been told that we are welcome in this place. And the presence of the Lord is already here. I want us now to move forward in our program so that we don't waste time. I've been told, uh, by, I've, and I've listened to great people who have succeeded. They say, respect time. People we have great success, they respect time. So I I want us to make I want to make sure that I don't fail you on that one. Now we're gonna move to our next uh, item. We're gonna ask uh, I know most of us we know that we are young professionals. Some of us are just new in this, they don't even know uh, what it is all about, what are we trying to achieve by forming this ministry. Now we're gonna ask our our chairperson, Mr. Bing Mangana, to come and tell us what are the expectations, what is young professionals, so that we are all on par with this ministry, so that we know what we are running forth with. So as he comes, I just want us to give him a round of applause. Uh, if there's anyone who knows how to sing, you can sing for us and we'll follow as he comes. So we're going to clap. Okay, let's clap.
of hands for that. Uh, the Young Professionals Ministry, can I have the microphone? The Young Professionals Ministry, uh, it's in twofold, really. Uh, the first leg of the Young Professionals Ministry is, 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 is about praying for one another. It's a care connect group, firstly, because that's what we call it in our church. We call it a, we call it a care connect group. Uh, it's a group of, of, of people uh, consisting of professionals, uh, not young professionals, uh, never mind the name. It's, it's consisting of professionals. Uh, it's consisting of, of, of uh, entrepreneurs, business people, uh, uh, unemployed graduates as well, because we said, let's include young unemployed graduates because they are on the entry level of employment or business. So we need them to be exposed, hence we said, uh, they have to be part of, of what we're trying to build as a church. We meet weekly, uh, online, to pray for one another, to share the word, to, to encourage each other in, in, in the word. That is what, what, what we do every Monday uh, from between 6 and 7. We pray uh, and, and we, we encourage each other. Uh, further than that, we also uh, discuss issues that we deal with uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it's in business, it's in, uh, uh, whether professional space, that we deal with those issues. Uh, we look at the, the, the biblical response. What does God want us to, to, to do? And how, does, how would he want us to respond to the day-to-day -day challenges that we're facing in our day-to-day -day, uh, day -day lives? So the idea is to, is to uh, apply the word because I said the other day uh, when I was making, making announcements that it's, 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 it's more important to apply the word uh, as much as we, we are taught every now and again we have uh, a brilliant which is exactly what we're here to do we want to share knowledge amongst each other we thought this meeting we, we, we might as well use it for launching this ministry, so so that we can we can let people know what this ministry uh, is about. So uh, uh, sharing of knowledge uh, it became a, a critical aspect as well of this because we are well aware that people perish because of lack of knowledge, not because of lack of prayer. Prayer we do, but the knowledge uh, is, is 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 what becomes critical. I want to draw you to, uh, uh, to Proverbs 27, 17, which, which talks about uh, uh, an iron sharpening an iron. So, which is what we are about. We are, we are premised uh, on these scriptures, uh, uh, Proverbs 22, 29 as well, which refers to someone who is skilled uh, and who will serve before kings because of his skill. Uh, and it, it's, a, it's a very interesting scripture because uh, Solomon is saying you will serve before kings be, because you, you, you are sharpened. That is why you, you need to refine your skills uh, and excel so that you can be recognized. The, the serving before kings then comes uh, after the recognition because of your skill. So, so, so that is why I referred earlier to the actual application of scripture. Because whatever we're doing is, is premised on the scripture. The other point, we want to create a prosperous people of the church. We want to create a prosperous people through business, uh, through uh, the careers that we're leading, through the, 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 the multiple streams of income. Because Solomon also refers to that. That you need uh, multiple streams of income uh, so that uh, uh, you, can, you can be able to, to, to survive and create something that will even outlive the, the generations 
uh, after himself. So that is what we are about. Raise, uh, as part of prosperity, want to raise out of these uh, sessions, want to raise multi-millionaires who will occupy the strategic sectors of our economy and play a, a meaningful role uh, in, in, in the means of production. It doesn't matter if you don't understand that for now, but we thought it, it becomes critical for us to, to not only uh, aspire to, because we're, we're not created to, to, to or, or we're not born to, to, to work and then to, to die. Uh, we were created as a bigger purpose than that. So what, that is why uh, uh, you know, even our pastor sometimes will say money is in the wrong hands. So it is without, as this ministry or through this ministry, it becomes then important for us, particularly as believers, to, to occupy those spaces, not just these smaller and minor spaces, but those strategic sectors of our economy to take over those 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 uh, those, those uh, uh, sectors because that is what the problem is. Uh, that is why, uh, as believers, you, you you end up compromising even on your values because you are going into a world that is that is led by people who do not know God, and you end up having to compromise or to end up being a Sunday uh, 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 born again Christian, which, which is that becomes a problem because you are now compromised in essence because you, you, you are trying to fit into the world that is, that is uh, uh, very hostile even to your faith. That is why you want to also raise righteous leaders to occupy these influential positions. Because we, 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 wrong decisions are being made and they are being made on our behalf. And whatever wrong decisions that are being made, it affects all of us. So they cannot tell us, that is the leaders, they cannot say uh, uh, as a church what they do is none of our business. Because their business affects our business. So, so we cannot therefore hold our arms and say, uh, uh, we let uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, politicians do what they want and, and we'll just pray in our little corners. Because it's not, it's not helping us. It does not help us thus far. That is why Without uh, it is then it then becomes necessary for us to to rise up and and and, and be deliberate in our intentions, uh, create spaces, such platforms such as this for 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 leaders to be raised for leaders uh, 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 believers not just leaders believers righteous leaders who will occupy those 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 uh, strategic areas uh, for the benefit. Of, of all of us, and of course for the advancement uh, of, 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 uh, of the kingdom. Another one, another objective of ours, uh, want to integrate faith, want to integrate faith in, in, in your profession as well as in your business. You, 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 can't, you can't separate the two. Your faith and your business uh, or your career is the same thing. It's not separate. So you can't say, uh, I, I, when I go to work, when I'm at, or if, if I'm a doctor, I go to work, I leave my, my, my faith at the door and then pick it up when I, when I, when I knock off. No, you, it, it does not work that way. You are one person. You can have three different characters. Because you are one person, you work throughout. You are you are an ambassador of Christ in the spaces that you that you work in. You 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 you, you are imitating God. In fact, that is what we are aspiring uh, or encouraging one another to do: to to be imitators 
of God, as, 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 as uh, the Apostle Paul teaches us. We want to adopt a what would Jesus do mentality in every situation. How would Jesus approach this? How, how did he do because we have uh, a myriad of scriptures to refer to, uh, to guide us in terms of how we actually approach uh, the different areas. We want to promote excellence through Christ, as I referred earlier, because it's excellence uh, that, will, that will put us before kings, uh, uh, not uh, before officials of low rank. The last one, we want to build, uh, now out of all this, we want to build a network of skills uh, uh, consisting of, of the different uh, professions uh, you know, from, from, from all the, the branches of, of, of his grace uh, so that we are able to access help whenever we need it. That is the intention. Uh, that is one, in fact, one of, of of our intentions. Uh, if you need a plumber, you should not be able to struggle. Uh, you, you can, you should be in a position to say, uh, there is someone I can I can use. Or if you are you are you are developing, you know, in person jobs, your uh, your your your, your uh, whatever it is that you, you might be busy building, uh, you can easily find uh, a, a builder in the house without you having to struggle. Going around uh, looking for you know for, for people who will only cause you trouble. So that is what we want to do as well. We want to create uh, that space for us so that we can open doors uh, for one another. Because it's important when when we prosper, the church prospers, and when the church prospers, our soul prospers. So it becomes important. Prosperity is, 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 is non-negotiable for believers. Uh, it's not, prosperity is not for, uh, for, for those other people that we, and, and the glam and the gifts that we, we are normally shown. Uh, because God want, wants us to prosper. God is longing. We hear every now and again that God uh, uh, is longing to bless us. Amen. How are we going to achieve all this? We have a program, or rather a number of planned programs that we are planning to roll out uh, throughout the year. Obviously, we'll have to look and check, you know, when we can we can do what we can do. So we have standing uh, 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 activities of the church to, between the Passover and, and, and the one conference. So we, we, we have to look around and see how we implement all these programs. But uh, just a few of the programs that we're thinking about. The skills in Daba, it's one. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll find the details and we'll, we'll let you know about that. Career desk, that is what we, we were planning. Career expos, uh, expose young people um, uh, to, to the different careers and guide them accordingly. Uh, business breakfast, uh, which is uh, what we, we, we are here about today. Uh, or even business dinners sometimes. Uh, to share knowledge, which is uh, what 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 we 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 are here about uh, business and career coaching. Uh, so that that is just uh, and, and maybe fun works in between. That is just what the kind of programs that we are planning. Uh, we will see as we as we go along how we how we 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 we, we roll out. You know these, these these programs. Maybe the next business breakfast will not will not sit like this. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll probably have a panel discussing where you can ask whatever question that you that you need to ask. So uh, those final details will, will then be communicated in time. Uh, uh, as as I conclude, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm almost done. Uh, the other day talked about the standards. Uh, he mentioned that there is an ideal standard of God and then there is a worldly standard. So through this ministry, what we want to achieve is the is the godly standard. Because
That is the safe standard that we were, were, were aspiring to. And we are doing all of that, all for the, for the advancement and the glory of God. May we rise to the occasion for we were born for such a time as this. Our help will not come from, from Russia or, or, or even the US or China. We were told they went to, they went to China the other day. Our help will come from, from Jesus. No, nowhere else. So we are the people we have been waiting for. Thank you very much.
Now we're all going to listen because am I just asking you about what the other person said? So we must all be listening. Uh, Mr. Nigan, Nigan, I'm not sure who's your... Okay, so you will get up and you will tell us about her, what she does, her name and what she does. And then she will do vice versa. You may start. I will leave all of us to be quiet so that we are able to hear. May, may we calm down? May we all settle? I think I'm gonna charge this. I'm gonna charge this table. I'm gonna charge this table. I'm gonna charge this table. We need to hear Mr. Nigana. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Thanks to me, Ayat Musan, is a professional player. Thank you.
not our MGT. She is a deputy chief education specialist, uh, elite, right? And she will leave for the circuit, a certain circuit. Then on my left hand side, I'm sitting with uh, this young, handsome professional, a, a psychologist in making, who Mr. the Siambong and talk over the Ella. It's a container for Specialist um, at the Department of Education at Homestead. And then on my left, I have Mrs. Pamela Nangala, who is a service consultant at Capitec, who also wishes to venture into business as well.
Fadbiri. He is an entrepreneur and a student. Good morning. Next to me is Zuhiza Hermans. He is a self-employed businessman. And on my left is Sipiro Khatsile. He's my father. Graphic designer, painter. And he's I made sure that I don't miss out on that one. <laughs> These are my favorite people. I'm not saying anything, you know. I, I love you all, but these are my favorite people. <laughs> Thank you so much for the introduction. Now we know who's here, and my guest speaker knows who is he going to be um, uh, addressing this morning. Great people. May the Lord increase you all in all that you do. May he open more doors for you that you may venture into new things and grow as you go. So as I am stepping down, I am not alone today. So I am not, I was, I, I, now I'm going down as a man of memory. Someone else uh, is going to take over. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you so much for the response. You are such a beautiful people. Uh, now I am handing over to Mrs. Kweta. Thank you. Uh, nonetheless, 
Uh, my name is Madeleine Goita. I'm a Miss Matanisis. Um, Danke lang, Mrs. Goita. Muchi kubo ni ma ang alpida. Denzelba, dinga, dinga, dinga. Ewa buka. Amen. Ako durongo. Goba undong ma ma. Awo kwa undong ma. Ta imeko isicho. Hallelujah. Um, to be honest, uh, it's a beautiful day, a day that the Lord has made, that we all should, you know, you know, rejoice and be glad in it. God made this day for the young professionals. Um, did you in business, business, guys? Professionals, as in your nurses, your teachers, your, 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 your engineers, your, your finance people, you all professionals. We are in this ministry so that when we go out there to serve our students, our patients, and whatever you, you serve, or whoever you serve, you serve Ume Butiko. So that when you come out of your place of service, wow, in a sense, because you are showing Ubutiko when in your workspace. Hallelujah. I'm not going to be long So that we go to our guest speaker. Um, this is the gist of the crux of the day. You go here to me, so you better be attentive because we want to learn a skill, we want to learn a thing or two from our guest speaker and how we can pro progress and pro progress yeah, in our in our businesses and how we live in our workspaces. Hallelujah. I do hope that you had enjoyed that that wonderful uh, of, uh the song. It was such a beautiful one. Uh, fortunately enough for me, I was hiding up that behind the walls, and I gave myself some moments just to dance, and, um, and try to break a leg. We thank God for that opportunity, shall we take dance once again? It is a great honor to be given this task of having to introduce uh, our guest of honor on this day. Uh, born in a small town of Lady Gray, a son out of London, children, obtained his high discipline through military experience, which also included a culture of starting his day early as 3 a.m. This quickly became an easy routine, as this was instilled earlier in his life when he had to make tea for his father at 3 a.m. Agriculture became his first choice for further studies in military, in the military, as he was exposed to do at a young age and in his life at home. He considers his military experience the best foundation of his entrepreneurial journey because it taught him to lead, plan, strategize, and execute plans. As a result of this up, up for, sorry, affirmation, Jika was born. He was, ex, he was, sorry, he saw an expansion of Jika operation, operations in Northern Cape, Jeffreys Bay, and has hugely diversified his business beyond healthy culture to poultry, piggery, beekeeping, livestock husbandry, and breeding to gain farming. He also co-owns three BLPs with Mrs. Madeleine Dot. He's a father 
to stand up as a husband to Mrs. Rujiswa Madeleja, who is also his business partner. His vision is wealth abundance through, finance, through farming, innovation, and elevating poverty in the lives of people, God's people. Through the vision, Tikla has trained thousands of young people in order to sustain their lives pro and providing for their families. Above all, Jesus also above all, Jesus always at the center of his life. Directing the steps of, of him, I mean directing his steps always. He is a true steadfast to actual application of the word of God and watching him perform it. And that God will sorry, and that God will see his vision fulfilled. He is a successful that generally sorry, he is a he is a safe success that guarantees eternal life, a blessing that adds no sorrow indeed. Um, our guest speaker is not just an ordinary person. He is an author of old, written a book that says success through Jesus. Um, we are still awaiting a next phase of that. He is a big entrepreneur person, as we have heard. Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me, as we stand up on our feet, to welcome Mr. Magda Erdoja. Please, Mr. Magda Erdoja. Thank you.